If you clicked on this video guys, you are going to experience the thing you've never seen in your life. You are going to see a Filipina girl skiing. I, yeah, I know it sounds like crazy, a Filipina girl who came from tropic country and I'm going to teach her how to do skiing. Hey guys, so as what we promised last time that we will continue our Yes Man challenge for Cuba this time since I was done with mine. I hope it will be something that is challenging for him because I it was really hard for me. I was thinking for over two weeks but I really can't think about something that could be challenging for him. So I guess most of the time this these are something that I like and I don't know if he likes it or not, so we will see what will happen later. So I list down challenges for him. It's so crazy this morning. It's already 8.31 a.m. And yesterday, I told him that he should be sleeping early because I guess tomorrow will be a rough day for you. So you have to save your energy. So what happened? He slept late and now it will be a first challenge for him to wake up. Let's wake him up. This is him right now. Sleeping like a baby. I guess he's mad now. <laughs> Are you mad at me? Uh -uh. No? I guess this is the most difficult challenge for Kuba today because I made at least three challenges for him and this one, that's why we need so much time here. I planned that he should teach me how to ski. So I already don't know how to ski since we don't have snow in the Philippines. We will let him know what is the challenge that I made for him. So let's see what his, his reaction for now. Here's the challenge for you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. Open it, please. Okay, no, guess. Pink. Guess. What is that? Teach me how to ski. <laughs> <laughs> so. You should be punishing me in this challenge, and you will punish yourself. No, it's punishing you because you know I'm having a hard time learning things, so it will be a challenge for you to. to Teach me how to do it. And your challenge today is to, for me to know how to ski. So today, the outcome should be, I know how to ski already. So that's your challenge. You really want that? Of course. Okay. I can teach you how to ski. Okay. So I should learn how to ski. So if I know how to learn how to ski today, that means you are an effective teacher. Mm, yeah. My parents put me on the skis before I could even walk when I was a baby. <laughs> so, so I know how to ski, but the other thing, if I know how to teach you how to ski, so let's do it. Yeah, accepted, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Okay. You are going to need the things. Let's transfer to the living room and I will get you those things you need. Okay. I think warm. But uh, I don't like this. Uh, it fits. What's this? Trousers. So Can you will... wear something different? No, trousers. No, the size is like going to my boobs. What it's, boobs? It's big, it's long, it doesn't fit me. It will, it will adjust. And safety first. A helmet. <laughs> so you can start dressing up and I will prepare the other things. We are almost ready. Our skier is there hiding. You have everything? Mm -hmm. The boots. And? That's all. You will be skiing on the boots? Yeah. I will begin. And what about ski? 
Dimensky. Um, Kuba still arranging the boots. He's still arranging the boots. And here. I hope he can find something that fits to me. just arrived to the little ski resort it's not really like a mountain it's just a little hill but you can make a pretty good skiing here but what's perfect it's really good for beginners who are learning skiing or who are beginners and practicing and improving their skills and here we are going to teach Gwen how to ski shoes my old ski when I was a kid Here is your rope and your ski, baby. Is it hard time walking? You got what you wanted. Walk naturally. So, baby, take a close look on the kids. Even a little kids can make it. So. Can you make it? I don't know. Perfection. I'm going to show you what you will do and then you will repeat it, okay? I have my little dog on the rope and baby what I want you to do you will keep this shape of the ski triangle slowly okay and here <laughs> put your hands on your knees baby yeah like this on, keep it on your knees And to the right, to the right, to the right. <laughs> you will do this and this hands on your knees. When you want to turn to the left, you will push on the left side. Both pushing, okay? When on the right, pushing on the... Right. So. And straight, straight legs holding this. Once you are ready, hold the rope and straight legs. Yeah, perfection. More, 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 more. Oi. Get up! Get up! How was the first ride? Crazy! So again... It's pretty hard to do. And the same process like last time. Don't hold that! Where is your hand? Yeah. Let's go! And push to the left knee. To the right. Yeah. 
Push baby to the right. Push to the right me. Good. No. Get on the side against the hill. I may seem like, like a strict instructor huh? screaming at Gwen, but she doesn't hear me through the helmet. Walking uphill is at the triangle. Straight ski. Stretch the legs. Full stretch. Full, I mean. No, stretch is, yeah. Your knees are not bended. Keep the toes of your ski straight. Don't fool yourself. Once I will tell you, you will drop the rope. You will, not before I will tell you. Sit down on the ground. Baby. Straight legs. You have enough? I'm tired. So do you consider it as I taught you how to ski? It's hard as I expected. Oh, it, of course it's hard. I think I'm gonna break my foot. No, you are not. I'm tired. Tired? Yeah. <laughs> so you have to get uphill still. Keep going, good, good job, keep going, don't lean back, lean forward, lean forward, yeah, excellent job. So it looks like Gwen <laughs> is done for skiing for today, how was your skiing experience? It was horrible. <laughs> oh, it was, but... Um, I got like... In view of those kids, they know how to do it and I'm so very embarrassing for them. I'm adult and I don't even know how to ride the uphill. Yeah, you but it's your first your time or actually second time. Difficult. It doesn't matter. You don't have to look on the others. Don't care about the others. I feel like I'm gonna break my foot because it's so heavy and I feel like no, a robot. actually those feet are... The shoes are designed, you will not break your ankle, anything, it holds the feet together. So is my challenge accepted, like finished? I guess you did your best and I did my best as well, but it's just that I'm very stupid at learning. <laughs> you know, I've been having a hard time how to use the washing machine. How much more skiing? You want right? to see how the real skiing looks like? Yeah. I'll take this. You'll ski yourself? Yeah. Uh, Where? There on the. You hill. have to bring it. I actually love skiing since ever when I was a kid. I learned how to ski and it's still pretty amazing activity i always i don't really like winter but once there is a winter i'm always excited to go for skiing it's not very often actually last year i was once it was here together with gwen as well and i guess this winter it will be also only once or maybe more we will see I, gwen actually did good on her first or actually second try of skiing she could hold the balance somehow and she was able to ride down on that little hill like it was fine i was impressed actually seeing someone who've never heard of snow and winter sports and finally trying it for the first time and not being scared that's nice
and <laughs> that's the funny thing guys you are going uphill on that elevator for like four to five minutes and you are down in just 10 seconds and then waiting again <laughs> And Gwen is right here, enjoying rest. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. How is it? Good. And you are ready for the other round? Ski? Yeah. You don't want? No, not anymore. So the first challenge is done and we will move on. Here is something to warm up after cold. Thank you. With vodka. Vodka? Yeah. No. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. It was very embarrassing for me. No, it was not. It was funny for me to look at you like some comes <laughs> you are, but it was still fine. It's really crazy. Like it's really difficult even standing up. I feel like my legs were frozen. Hmm. You are weak on your legs, you have to do more exercise. Yeah, I guess as well. I was very envy to the kids. Yeah. They know how to ski, but not me as an adult. That's so embarrassing for me. Mm. And I could see late um, earlier, the kids were really just looking at me, then they're about to like laugh. They were laughing to you. <laughs> and what's next on your to-do list today? Okay. I have two more actually and I will let you choose which one would come first so here so which one would come first a haircut what's I the other cut one my hair a spa S foot spa foot spa yeah what does it mean I will go to the food spa? No! I will do it! And I'm gonna cut your hair as well. My hair is fine. It's overdue law, I guess. You don't have hair cut there. I have! I brought it! <laughs> hair cut first and then food spa. So you can relax as well. Okay. I guess he likes it. Um, I'm really scared of cutting it because many times I failed, but I guess today I didn't <coughs> fail. So look, I'm not sure what's here. Um, I cannot cut more because Kuba has moles and I'm scared of cutting those. And I hope it's straight. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine? Look. Is it? Mm -hmm. I'm a good hairdresser this time. Uh -huh. Yeah? I cannot see what happened at the back, but I will believe <laughs> you, it looks fine. <laughs> now I'm preparing for the most hated part, which is the foot spa. He really doesn't like it, but I really like doing it this things because after that, um, it feels so good on, in your foot rather than just going to the salon and ask them for a spa so we can just go do it at home now all you have to do is to relax you can watch something like movie and i'll give you at least 15 minutes to soak your feet on it so it means my feet smells horrible then it's not it's just uh, it will make your feet like smooth after so it's easier for me to get those dead skins Done? 15 minutes? Kuba is shy. Okay, just show my face. <laughs> it's very shy. It does things that I'm really not comfortable when someone is like doing those things to me and that's Gwen's punishment from her after what I did to her in my Yes Man challenge. If you haven't seen that challenge, here is a little teaser, go check that out. And the only answer she can say to that 
is yes, she has to accept those challenges. I am not really sure if Gwen understood this yes man challenge because it should be her giving me things I have to do for her but actually since the beginning of this challenge she was suffering skiing, she had to cut my hair, she had now she has to, to do food spa for me. I like it. And I am not suffering. Well yes I am a little but <laughs> Now it's Jacob's turn for me. So he needs to, so he should also give me a foot spa. So my feet is done. Now is Gwen's turn. Oh, give me that. Ah, uh, I have to wipe it first. Why should it? be dry? Serious. It's like he is like um cleaning his car. <laughs> the seriousness. <laughs> it's thinking. you want it <laughs> so oh guys Gola was very bad at me it was tickling me so bad <laughs> is it all done no not yet you still have one last task actually so the last task is date you have to plan a date for us tonight you have to think anything it's it it doesn't mean that we have to go somewhere or what it's up to you and here we are with Gwen in the car heading on a date she asked me for and she challenged me for mm -hmm. so where and there is no thing I wouldn't done for her so where special place so many people go there every day they need that place they love that place mm -hmm. expensive okay we are almost in the city getting closer to that special place this we are at the gas station in the gas station? Yeah. What are we gonna do in the gas station? We're like, feeling As gas. I told you. Okay. So many people like it. it it's expensive here. <laughs> we are going to you have to You trick me again. Here you are, the biggest hot dog in your life. I like it. Thank you. Your hot dog. <laughs> Cheers. Dobronoc. Cheers. Dobrokut. Dobrokut. It's delicious. It was one of the most delicious bread I've ever tasted here. And here we are in the end of Gwen's challenge for me. It was very tough for me, I would say. <laughs> very for you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would agree as well. You enjoyed it, I guess. Very much. That's important. Yeah. 
And if I can, I would recommend it to those couples. Just try one weekend, one partner is setting the challenges and the other weekend, the other partner. Yep. So that's all for our video today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, you may hit the subscribe and like button. Stay tuned for more videos. See you again next time. Bye-bye.